we got the new Turbo Achilles A4. Now it's time to quite literally get Turbo. Today we're doing a bay hunting. You want to know why? Because I have no other videos planned for this week. But, does it change the fact that we're going to this Walmart? Why? Because I'm looking for Turbo Veltrek V3 or Hades and I need something. Hopefully we find something, but come a little closer. We have a simple light goal for this video. 200? Nah. You want to know that's 700 likes because we have to get lucky today. Otherwise, I can't upload this video. Okay. Okay. We already opened the box, so we're going to try and take the reaction. This will be found. It's in the box right here. Air Knight K4, lads. He salamander got repeated? It's salamander, it got repeated. Really? No. Hold okay, on. my god. Show me one by one. Dread Phoenix P4, my lads. Air Knight K4. Turbo Kiwis A4. Oh my. Is there anything else in here? That's actually a fair question. Really good amateur. This warrants like oh, another hunting. This warrants like I. I On rip tide in here. Oh my god! Can you hold it? So it comes. Okay, we got the whole box. Okay, so. Uh, oh, they flew. They flew them. Did they? No, they flew. They came by airplane. Oh, no wonder. Oh, they in the. It's amazing, man. What I are, find I with the three. Already, I think we're already have the video set up. Hey, a uh, quick thing I just wanted to show, since I don't know if the videos are going to have it or not with uh, the thing, but look, here are the stats and everything, uh, the armor is compatible and everything, uh, the Air Knights, uh, this is what the back looks like, I just wanted to show it, uh, Turbo Achilles uh, Dimension wow. is for another rant, but uh, there are stoppers on this. Okay. Me, I make a video yesterday, hey guys, Hasbro needs to release more stuff. We checked the box today at like a Walmart. Actually, they changed the color in the box too. Okay, and show me. Wrap up. All right, that's gonna be, uh, and we'll go with probably another story just in case, but that's yes. gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching. What is up, everyone? I hope you are having a wonderful day because today we are taking a look at Turbo Achilles A4. Now, before we continue, simple like goal of a thousand likes. And if you are hyped for this release, hashtag Turbo Achilles in the comment section. So, this is a direct evolution of Z Achilles. And something I am going to say, if you are worried that this release would be as trash as the Z Achilles we've seen in the past, don't worry. This, the fact, okay, buy it if just for the reason that it's way better than any Z Achilles that Hasbro could ever offer. This is good. Now, it keeps the same gimmicks of the Burst Stopper gimmick. Now, to explain what the Burst Stopper gimmick is, this is referred to in Beyblade Burst Turbo as the Turbo Awakening. So, you get your launcher, you just uh, do three, two, one, and a rip, you launch hard, and then after, you see these little wings right here, or I guess these little blades? These are gonna pop out in the battle. There's gonna be a little bit of tab right there, depending on which bay it is. For Achilles, it has two tabs. Valtrike, it has one tab. Spryzen, it should have, like, two, right? So, that's gonna make your bay, and this Achilles A5, A4, excuse me, lair, almost impossible to burst. Now, there are other parts like Double O and Dimension, which I have yet to see if they screwed up yet. Uh, the other parts are, D uh, the part names I should say, Z66 and TB11-S, which is a uh, slingshot. So yeah, evolution of Z Achilles. Uh, this actually happens in the anime when uh, Phi, who uses his Dark Revive Phoenix, the evil version, breaks uh, Z Achilles. And then after Iger has to Remake his bay with the help of Shu. So, the back right here, you can see, 
This is a right rotating bay. The stats are six in attack, three for burst, four for defense, seven for weight, uh, four for agility, four for stamina. Uh, Force disc is, yeah, these are, uh, I've already went over this dimension. Now the thing is this, I can already tell by the box dimension is not something I'm gonna agree with. It is five in power and one in speed. I did fear they would do something like this. Uh, you know, we're gonna take it out of the packaging. I'm gonna actually go over it and we're gonna see pros, cons, etc., etc. So, the positive to this, right? Positives right now. There are burst stoppers and they do work. It's not fixed, it's not like a little uh, visual thing. There are burst stoppers. That is good. Now, what the burst stopper gimmick basically is, it's called the Turbo Awakening in the Bailey Burst Turbo Anime. So basically these are what we can call Turbo Blades. This is what really does have the effect in battle. These are just for show when you launch them. So the idea is when you let it rip super, super hard, you're going to awaken the blades on this. And that's going to activate a stopper right here. And then if you can kind of see right here. So that means your Achilles is going to be harder to do a burst finish with. And you're most likely not going to be able to burst even with the burst stoppers, but I guess we're going to see later on. But really solid. Now, compared to the Takara Tommy version, Takara Tommy version only has metal in two areas that really mattered, which was the swords. See right there? Hasbro does not. But to be fair, Takara Tommy did kind of cheap us out because there's no metal on the inner part of it, just on the outer part. So really, no metal on this Achilles kind of does affect its performance a bit, but it's not as bad as I would think. No, actually, no, it's a little bit. It's a little, it, it's like a little bit, but not really. It's not like too, too crazy. Like for Valtrek and Spryzen, I don't know, Valtrek I've already seen since we've seen pictures for it, whatever. Spryzen, I haven't seen anything yet, but you know, they never really had any metal because they near the end of Turbo, these released, well, near the end for Takur Tommy, just to explain, there's a lot less metal than what they started off with, so it's not really that much of an issue. This is a good disc, which is actually probably the other reason why you should get it. This is called Double O. So it's very interesting because it, it looks here, it's like in the shape of 11, but also kind of fused with zero a bit from uh, Surprise and Requiem. So it is a decent disc. Looks nice. Let me see how many stars I actually have. Can I see? Okay, never mind. It's, it's a hard enough life, eh? So, uh, we have Dimension now. Oh, I put Dimension on the other Achilles. <laughs> I, think I, I think I did that like subconsciously. So this is Dimension. So, I looked at this. So look, Balance, which is what it is right now. So it's still got that little tab thing, right? So let me first explain to you how it's supposed to work for the Takara Tommy version. So, I got really bamboozled here, and you're gonna see why. Okay, so pretty much, it's gonna be a different height than the TT version. Now this, okay, now I'm gonna go into a rant in a second. So this is how it should look like for Takara Tommy, the normal version. So each time you switch it, you'll have the balance mode when it reaches here, and then after when you do it again, balance mode, then attack mode, then attack mode, then after that you got your ultra attack mode. This just really annoys me. Watch this. Look at this. Come on! You had one job, Hasbro! You could have literally just kept it as this! This is literally just the slingshot gimmick! Why'd you have to make it like it's dumb? I'm gonna tell you why it's dumb. Because either way, when you get to the top, you get the ultra attack mode. So what was the point of saying balance? What, what, what balance? Where, where, where's the balance in this? Where's the, where's the tip there? That's what super annoys me. I'm so mad. I'm so mad they screwed up the dimension. Because they didn't have to. Because dimension, I thought when I first saw it, they can't screw it up. I guess I was wrong. <sighs> dimension sucks uh, for this. Dimension annoys me. Because, I mean, you still get this, right? You still get the normal balance mode, but you don't get it like the TT version. And if it was, look, if Hasbro did it like this, right, where it didn't have the little rubber thing and it was just all plastic, whatever, and it was basically like this before I saw it, that would have been perfect. Because you would have still had the gimmick like that. But no, you, you just have this. This is stupid. What would be the point in this? This is like, I hope they, they make some like Switch Strike Dimension, right? Because that'll easily, easily make that Achilles at least more worth the purchase. 
I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be better. I don't know. I just, I don't like this, the slingshot of occasion. You see, people say I always defend Hasbro. No, you see, you see me defending them right now? I defended this, because this is actually perfectly fine for my case, and this, they, mean they can't scrub the disc. Come on, man. Come on. All right. We're gonna do the weighing for everything. Now, actually, the weight shouldn't be too much of a difference. Actually, I think maybe the Hasbro dimension might be a little bit heavier with how much taller it is and everything. All right, TT. Got about 21.45 grams. Hasbro. 17.34 grams. Okay, okay. Uh, Tucker Tommy dimension. It might be a little bit heavier just because of all the rust and everything on it. 24.88. Did it change? 25, actually, that's a... Okay, well, that's a little interesting, actually. I didn't think that would happen. Takartami Dimension, 7.28. Hasbro Dimension. Yes, yeah, you wanna know why it's 6.8? Cause it sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I'm done. Uh, we're gonna see the slopes on this now. Uh, the slopes actually are... They're okay. I'd give them like a seven. Better than Genesis Valtrek, I would say maybe uh, slightly less than Kalazar. It feels not as tight as Kalazar, but slightly less. I'm just, I'm still annoyed in that dimension part, man. I'm still annoyed. But we still gotta show up. All right, uh, let's first do a normal test launch in a battle ring mode. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, I activated both the burst stoppers right away. Wow. I did a really light launch on that, so I think this is the fact that the Tazbro is just a lot easier to activate those burst stoppers. To be fair, they are kind of easy to cancel out, so... Can I do like a really like... How light do I have to... Yeah, it's... Alright. I guess the wings are just super easy to activate. Or excuse me, the blades. I don't think that's really a negative. Is this a little bit weird that you can kind of push them back in a little bit too easy? That could actually probably be bad for battle since it means your opponents can push back your turbo blade. All right, now we're gonna get to the really super super dumb. All right, slingshot mode. We're gonna get to the really really. Jesus, I hate the. I hate this. It's so dull looking. God. All right, let's get it. Let's get this. Three, two, one, let it rip. It's just so goofy looking. Cause you know, well I mean that also confirms then, I don't know whenever this review is coming up before or after, but that means Valtteri can surprise him probably shouldn't be too hard. I don't know if it's just this Achilles, but yeah, it's a, it's a little bit too easy. All right, uh, I figured then to make this have some sense, we're gonna have Takaratami in its tallest height. And we're gonna see between the two, right? You know, which one can actually uh, beat him. I'm so afraid. Maybe Hasbro does get it. You know, maybe they do get, maybe Hasbro will get to win for once. I said maybe. Hey, at least the burst stopper still kept in. All right, I guess my theory was wrong on it. Yeah, but all right, let's try it. And it's, uh, I guess, its smallest height. It just takes away the gimmick of what dimension should be. It's like the same with extend. I just, I don't like the slingshot version of it. There's some drivers where they, the drivers basically say the same, and some that don't. But uh. Achilles! I should also mention kind of in battle. Woo! Never mind, I should not hit it back in there. But yeah, it kind of can burst a little, even with the burst stoppers. I don't think burst stoppers actually help. Uh, no, they kind of do help. I did hit it with the launcher, to be fair. It kind of does like, like even if I twist it down, kind of in battle, kind of just like moves itself up for some reason. But, all right. That was wrong, that was wrong, that was a mistake. What? Well, it seems any insult I, oh wow, it actually did move up. It seems any jokes I had for Hasbro are kind of being gone. 
during these battles. Uh, this is way too hard to tell. This is actually... a little crazy. This is actually... Alright. Don't die, please. Oh, uh, alright. I feel like every time I insult ha ha What?! You manage to have the stoppers that don't work. You managed to. So I don't. I'm this close to actually ending it, I swear to God. Alright, uh, we have to try it out against the other releases. Uh, let's try Dread Hades, which I don't know how Dread Hades can have metal, but then the Turbo Achilles can't have metal. But you know, you know, Hasbro, you know, that's, a, that's, that, that's okay. Whatever, man. Whatever. This bay is so weird with how they handled it. Uh, we're gonna try out some other bays. Ooh, okay. This turbo is good. Ah, this turbo kill is kind of scares me. Just a wee bit. Just, just a wee bit. All right. Uh. Try it out against Emperor Fornius. You know why not? What could go wrong? Jesus, that could go wrong. What? All right, I'm gonna give this like a seven. That's it. I'm done. Seven out of ten. Uh, buy it? Uh, I don't know. I still gotta do more videos with it, to be fair. I think the slopes are good. I think the burst stopper is kind of like... They, they, they're they there, but they're not there. I don't know. So weird. Yeah, that's kind of it. I think this is out of the out of all the three with Phoenix and Air Knight. Probably the least... Or the... I don't know, actually. It's just so dumb how they handled this Turbo Achilles. Uh, that's it for now. Like, subscribe, and yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye. Bum, 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 bum. Zanky, where's the QR code? All right, I got you, man. Ah, oh, man, wait, this is the Achilles A4 original. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my mistake. All right, here's the turbo Achilles. Go scan it. Wait, th this, is, this is the front? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. All right, there you go. All right, that's it. Bye.